Hi everybody, we're the Scots. We traded the typical American dream to follow a dream of our own. We live in our RV and travel full time, and today you can spot us at Great, Great Sand, Sand Dunes, Dunes Oasis, Oasis. Which is a really cool little park. It I is. I really like it. It's super close to Great Sand like Dunes National Park. Two and a half miles to the front gate, that's it. Yep, you can see it from here, you can see the sand dunes from here. Um, we're here really early in the year, so mm -hmm. we have it all to ourselves right now. Yeah, actually, um, when we pulled in on what, what was it? it? Was Sunday night? Sunday. Sunday night, there were only five people, um, and then today is what Wednesday that we're leaving. We're so Monday, ones. Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe only two or three people here at a time. So it's been really quiet. We're here in April. So um, being here so early in the year, they don't have the water on yet. That was um, one drawback because we had to fill up our tanks and just basically boondock as far as that part goes. Yeah. But we did still have electric and sewer, so it's not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. We um, had beautiful views. Um, we're surrounded by beauty um, and you'll see a little bit later in the video all these wonderful all views, views but you're surrounded by mountains and then you have this beautiful prairie view uh, throughout the San Luis Valley and it's absolutely gorgeous big skies here big clouds look at all that <laughs> blue skies so it's it's very wonderful for uh, uh, it's perfect for picture taking and absolutely for landscape photography uh, so. we're here at the end of April and the current price this time of year is $30 a night I don't know if that changes in the summertime um, we've really enjoyed it. I mean, it's it's a really nice campground. There are some boondocking options in the area, but if you're looking for a full hookup campsite to stay near the sand dunes, this is it. This is about as close as you can get. This is so, great. They have like, uh, I think it's 20 RV slots. 20 spots, yes. Yep. And they have laundry and bathrooms. They have a clubhouse. They have a really nice well-stocked store with both souvenirs as well as basic supplies that you might need. And lunch meat. I saw that in there too. <laughs> and we were able to <laughs> rent um, sand sleds there to go sledding on the dunes. They also have sand boards. Yeah, you're not It was gonna... what, $20? Yeah, $20, but uh, you're not going to see me on a sandboard. No, <laughs> but we did that and it was really fun. Um, I think that's all I can really think of to say. Yeah, it's it's a really cool little park. Um, I'm afraid to see how it would be in the, you know, smack in the middle of I'm summer. I'm sure it's always completely booked in the summertime, but it's a but great spot before off summer season. and after summer be you know the shoulder seasons I guess you would call it um, be a great time to come and check this place out and if you do want to come in the summer I would highly recommend booking it like a year in advance because th there is only 20 spots and it is what two miles from the national park so I bet yep. in the summer it's really hard to get in and some of the spots would be a tight squeeze if you have opposing slide outs so remember that um, we squeezed into the very end slot um, so we have to all the spot space number we can one. Want. Yeah, all the space we can want. Didn't have any trees, but each spot does, you know, have trees in it. So um, might be a concern when pulling in if you have a bigger rig with opposing slides. But otherwise, I think it'd be pretty easy. It really depends on the spot too yeah. when you look around. So yep, you little guys out there with your little travel trailers, check this spot out. It'd be easy to get in and out of. Well, if you're a little guy, you could stay in the national park too. That's that, very that true. That campground was that. too small for us. Yeah. But but little guys can stay right in the national park. That campground was very nice. Yeah. It was so, very nice. Uh, so I'm going to basically take you on a little tour, show you around the place. And uh, this is come Scott's Recommended. So definitely give this, place, <laughs> give this place a stay. <laughs> give it two thumbs up. Ooh, one's glove, one isn't. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. So right now, we have the campground completely to ourselves. Everyone else but us has left. It's a Wednesday, um, and it's still the end of April. So I guess it doesn't get a lot of action this time of year. This is their restroom uh, house and laundry area and clubhouse. I don't know, I know the restrooms are open, so I'm gonna show you those. I don't know about the other areas. So we will try, and if not, we'll try to peek in the windows. But I wanted to show you the views here. There are very sweeping views of mountains in every direction. I'll try not to go too fast. There are the sand dunes right there. Sorry, it's a little dark and cloudy over there, but that's the sand dunes right in front of the mountains. And that's our campsite. We're in spot number one on the end, so we had all those unobstructed views on our side that has the awning and the, the grill and the picnic table and all of that. There's 20 spots at this campground. 2-0, 20 spots. There's also cabins for rent up there on the back hillside. 
Looks like there are four, if I'm seeing them all from here. But yeah, just pretty views every direction. This house over here also has a really nice deck around it, so I'm gonna take you over there. But then just another note, there's kind of a little playground area here. Little tire playground area there. Swing set, monkey bars, and this cute little, uh, looks like a little log cabin that's kind of like a little playhouse. And we are going to head over now to the bathhouse. Okay, so first of all, I know the restrooms are open, so I'll give you a peek at that. There's nobody else here, so that won't be a problem. Kind of your typical bathroom. But we have three sinks, three toilet stalls, and three showers. And here's just a little peek inside one of the showers. Nothing special per se, but also perfectly adequate. This is like a little clubhouse section and it is not open yet, but we'll give you a little peek through the window as best I can here. Isn't this just a beautiful place? Nice wide deck all the way around. Peek in this window too. Yep, it's locked. Okay, and then we'll go around here. It says laundry's this way. We'll see if that's open. Really nice big deck here to enjoy the views. And that down there is the store. Give you a little peek at that on our way out. We'll go see if the laundry room is open. Here's where the laundry is at. Yes, it's open. Okay, I haven't even seen it yet. So we've got a couple of big commercial dryers over there. One washer is clearly out of order, but they still have two. And wash sinks, I love when laundry rooms have wash sinks because there's just those certain items that you need it for. So that is your laundry room. Washing machine is $1.25. Dryers are 10 minutes per quarter. So that is your prices. Beautiful, beautiful views of the dunes off the deck here. They've got a nice, nice bench where you can sit and enjoy. And that's our campsite right there. I mean, you can't ask for more than a view like that from your campsite. Again, as we mentioned earlier, their water is not yet turned on this time of year. So we had to fill up our water down on the side of the store. Um, there is a spigot as you come in to this area of the campground, but that was not on yet. So the spigot you're looking for if you come here off season is on the side of the store. I'm gonna just walk up to one of these campsites and show you how they're appointed. Okay, each campsite has a fire ring, a picnic table, and a grill, which is really cool. Not a lot of places have that. And then on the other side of the campsite, water, electric, and sewer, right here on the other side of your site. And these sites are nice and wide and long. We have a 41 foot fifth wheel. And as you can see, we fit in our spot with no problem. And they leave a lot of extra space on the front side. So you can park your vehicle in front. Um, at least if you're not on the end like we were, you can fit pretty much anything in your spot you'd need to fit. So here from our spot in spot number one, that's the incredible view. I'm sure this spot is probably booked always in the summertime, but if you want to come here off season like we did, you just might get it all to yourselves. All right, so now I'm gonna just give you a little peek inside their store here, which is fittingly called Oasis. Oh. 
do have ice available up here as well, which is always handy. Great. It's a great spot. Good. It's a great spot. I'm sure you guys are absolutely packed during the summer. I can imagine. And they also have a restaurant, although it's not open until they are in season. 